Hi guys, Sai is here back with another interesting video and today in this video I am going to talk about how to install Android Voting Custom ROMs on Realme 5 series device. Okay, what is Realme 5 series device? Realme 5 series means Realme 5, 5i, 5s. So this all three devices covered in this video. So watch this video till the end. And if you are new on this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Also join our Telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. So without any wasting of time, let's begin. Okay, before move on the process, the most important point is your device is encrypted or decrypted. So if you don't know what is encrypted and decrypted, so I'm going to plan one video in upcoming days. So I will provide that video link on this video description. Okay, so definitely check out that video after some time i will put that video link okay so first of all talking about encrypted users so first important point is if you are a new user i mean if you are going to flash first time uh, custom rom on your realme 5 series device so definitely you are an encrypted user because you don't know how to decrypt your device okay and if you know you are a decrypted user then i will tell you how to flash rom on decrypted device so let's talk about encrypted users okay so first of all uh, we need to talk about some important points that is uh, which file you which file we need so first file which we need to flash that is custom recovery which is orange fox latest recovery i will provide the link of this recovery on description simply you need to download this recovery extract the orange fox zip and flash that orange fox recovery through pc or without pc method after that you are good to go to flash room okay so if you don't know how to install custom recovery on any device so i will provide the link of that uh, video on this video description so watch that video after that you are good to go to flash any room okay so let's talk about the installation process but before move on the installation process the first important point is if you are uh, installed custom recovery for first time on your device so then uh, the files is not showing on your recovery installation section right like, like that this folders is not showing okay so save this files on your sd card and pen drive okay down save the required files on pen drive and sd card okay after that uh, you need to do format data for first time if you are encrypted user and if you are going to flash custom rom on device first for first time so go on uh, wipe section and here it is the format section is present so type yes and click on write button after that it will uh, formatted then you need to reboot your device once on recovery okay so as we can see i do like that you need to do like that okay so boot your device once on recovery okay we need to do this is for first time because there is nothing show on your recovery because you need to put all files on SD card or pen drive because when you do format data then all things are wiped so after that you need to wipe go on wipe section and tick this data metadata dalvi card cache and wipe it after wiping go on installation section and first thing we need to flash firmware i will provide the link of this firmware on description so flash this firmware always go for latest firmware version okay after completion of firmware flashing flash the rom so here it is that rom i am going to flash uh, project elixir android 14 rom you can flash any rom after completing this uh, installation section installation of rom just go on wipe section go on this uh, da uh, format data and type yes and tick on uh, write button after that it will going to format data and just you need to uh, click on reboot system your device gonna boot and the rom is booted now let's talk about what the what is the process for decrypted users so for talking about decrypted users the process is same like why go on wipe section wipe the dalvi card catch and metadata and data after wiping these partitions as we can see here it is tick this all sections wipe it after completion of wiping uh, install the firmware first after that install the rom and after that at the last we need to install dfe neo so for decrypted users at the last we need to install dfe neo so select that dfe neo so i'm going to flash so some important instruction is here so you need to note that important instruction so watch this uh, present part very carefully so i'm going to flash this dfe neo just swipe it okay for decrypted users we need to install dfe after flashing firmware and room okay i mean at the last we need to install this dfe file it will show some instructions so follow which i am going to say you so just uh, click the volume down button so click volume down volume down volume down 
for every instruction click volume down at the last it asks you uh, continue installation with the current parameters on that situation you need to uh, click volume up button that's it so just uh, enable volume up button for configuration okay so i'm going to press volume up button after a completion of this selection it will take some time and it is going to installation of installing all the uh, selected parameters properly it's going to install the file after completion of installation of this file at the end it says at the end it said um, wipe the data once wipe the data partition once yeah guys if you are uh, going to decrypt your device for first time then you need to wipe the data partition so this is mandatory okay so suppose my i'm going to decrypt my device for first time like i am decrypted my device now for first time so now what i need to do just go back and wipe the data partition from wipe section so i will show you how to do that just wait so here it is go back um uh, go back go on wipe section tick this box data and wipe it okay after that wiping you good to go to click on reboot system that's it your device gonna boot on roam okay so this is decrypted users so this is the simple and very easy installation process i think you understand for encrypted user you need to uh, do format data at the end when you flashing firmware and roam after flashing firmware and roam you need to do format data for the encrypted user and if you are decrypted user you need to do uh, flash dfe uh, after flashing firmware and roam no need to do format data for decrypted users note this point so i will plan one video for uh, how to encrypt and decrypt any android device so in upcoming days i will uh, provide that video and that video link i will provide on this video description so definitely check out this video description okay so this is the video if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care